So you remember I was doing the making my video there of repairing my little camcorder, my high heat camcorder, and I suffered a failure of the memory card inside this camera. And this is a problem I've had happen before. And one of the reasons I, I'm really not fond of memory cards for long term long term storage. Um, I'm a tape guy. I still like I still like to put stuff that I want to keep on tape. So. This is what was happening. I'll start this camera recording here and you watch what happens here. You can see that there's still over an hour and 34 minutes of recording time left on the memory card. And it'll record for a few seconds and then it's going to stop. There we go. Oh, recording failure. So it says video management file damage recovery is required to record playback. Recover. Okay. So now it's supposedly fixing it. Recovery is complete. Okay, let's start a recording again. Okay, let's start recording. This is why I had to abruptly end my video. Because um, the uh, memory card. There we go. Recording cancelled. Okay. Video management file is damaged. I can do this until I'm blue in the face and it's not going to do any, it's not going to fix anything. Try it one more time. Get the same thing happen again. There's lots of space free on the memory card. It's, it's a 16 gig card and I've probably got 12 gigs free. It's um, a problem. Now I can do this again and just to show you that the card will play if I go to playback yeah, here's some of my files that I uh, have on here from and one more time. Oh, that was what I this is what I just tried to do today um, in fact it actually looks like when I recovered the video that it Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, I already copied the files off here to edit the video together and I just put the card back in the camera. Kind of looks like all my files are gone. Um, because uh, I don't uh, I don't see any uh, I don't see any files that are uh, left. All the other files something happened. But that's why I don't like digital memory, because stuff can be lost just like that. In a blink of an eye, you can lose all of your files. That entire video that I did of repairing the camera is on this card, but it's now inaccessible. That's the problem I have with flash memory and why I personally if I'm shooting something that I, I know that I only have one opportunity to shoot it, I'll shoot it on my HDV camera. At least that way I know that I've got it. Whereas on flash memory, as they say, it can be gone in a flash. So here we go, a moment of truth. I'll take the memory card out of the camera and put it into the card reader. And we'll open up the desktop here and we'll see whether my files are there. So there's my desktop. It'll be in this folder called private in under ABC HD stream. Oh look. My files are all gone. These files were all there yesterday. All the files for my uh, the video and I did not erase them. Another thing that was lost was, uh, and this is something that can't be replaced, uh, my daughter just got her driver's license and the uh, first shot of her getting behind the wheel of the car and driving for the first time was on this memory card and I hadn't backed it up and uh, I've now lost that. So I'm now recording, this is to the memory card that 
and the JVC camera was coming up with a failure. And I just put this memory card into my Sony camera. And uh, this is one of my favorite cameras that I've got. It's a, uh, a TX100. And I usually use this for pretty much all my YouTube videos just because it's small and convenient. And my battery is dead. <laughs> That's the only downside to this thing is that the uh, battery doesn't last very long. But it's a nice little camera. It's got a, a half decent zoom lens on it and you can put it in your pocket. So I tend to carry this everywhere I go um, even when I'm taking my my full-size SLR camera to uh, do pictures and video. I normally carry this thing with me just as a second camera just because it's so small and inconspicuous and as you can see it produces a really nice picture. But that's weird because this memory card I used it yesterday, I recorded for a good, what, half an hour on it, on my JVC camera, while I was repairing that other Sony, and then all of a sudden it came up with a recording failure. Um, I copied all the files off of it to edit it, put the card back into the camera, and uh, went to demonstrate it, and it came up with a failure again, and this time all the files were erased. But uh, now I put the memory card in the Sony camera and everything's working. So I'm not so sure whether the problem is um, the camera itself has failed or whether it's the memory card that's failed or whether it's just the partic this particular memory card in that particular camera. But uh, I mean it really it appears to be working. This is digital zoom, so it's probably not looking as good. This camera only has a uh, a four times uh, zoom lens on it, and the rest of it's all digital. But for a uh, a camera the size of a cell phone, it uh, has a really good picture. I don't want to think now. I'm thinking maybe the memory card's okay and maybe it's the camera, but we'll uh, we'll try another memory card in the other camera and see whether it uh, whether it does the same thing. Although this this card here that I'm using, this is the I've used this memory card in this camera in the JVC camera. This has been the memory card I've I've had in it for you know, 4 or 5 years. I've never had an issue with it up until now. That's kind of bizarre that it wouldn't record, but it records in this camera. Interesting. <laughs>